In this video, I'm going to talk about my top must-have apps to stay organized and productive. The first app that I'm going to talk about is called Habit Tracker. Now, tracking your habits is super important because one, it helps you to build momentum and motivation, and two, it helps you to stay accountable. A lot of times we say that we want to start something, but we're really not consistent. So using a habit tracker can help keep us accountable and set reminders along the way. Some of my favorite features about the app is it's very easy to use. With this simple user interface, you can get started in less than five minutes. It has custom categories and it's color coded to help keep you reminded of what you're tracking. And I believe even in the free app, you can add about four to five habits for free. Who doesn't love a free app? The current habits that I'm tracking are my daily water intake. I'm also tracking the habit of praying twice a day and also how much money I spend out on takeout food. I'm really trying to break that habit of eating out and make sure that I'm sticking to a particular amount. Habit Tracker makes this really easy for me because it has great widgets already built in. So right from my home screen, I can check off whether or not I've hit the habit. And I also get push notifications to my phone that allow me to stay motivated and remind me when sometimes the day is too busy. And the best part about this app is that it's available through iOS and Android, so nobody has to miss out. It does offer a premium version, but I still currently use the free version and it works great for me. So that is the first app if you're looking to build habits and be consistent and you really want a simple, easy way to track them, Habit Tracker is perfect for you. Now, the next app that I use to stay organized and productive is called Smart Tasks. If you've watched any of my weekly plan with me videos, you'll know that Smart Tasks is an app that I feature every single week. I track my personal tasks on here, business tasks, and one of my favorite things about it is that you can do custom categories. I am a person who has a lot of different responsibilities in my life and I don't like to just have one to-do list that is all jumbled. But with the Smart Task app, I'm able to actually set a color for each category of responsibility in my life. That way, when it shows me the seven day preview, I know exactly what's supposed to be worked on. With the Smart Task app, you'll be able to see your week at a glance. You can also view a monthly view and add tasks that way. It also has an option where you can add routines. So if you have a task that you do every single week, you can automatically set it to remind you. And speaking of reminders, it'll also send you push notifications for certain tasks. If you're the type of person that is into time blocking or you just need to be reminded to do something at a very specific time, you can do it there. And a the hidden feature of smart tasks is that you can also include links and other notes inside of the task. This is a great feature for me when I'm planning out my workouts. I'll go right to YouTube, grab the link for the workout, add it in the description. So that way when it's time for me to work out for that day, all I have to do is go into the Smart Task app and my workout will be right there. This is also helpful when I'm using it in my coaching business and I need to follow up or send certain links to a certain clients. I can add it right into that app and have it ready to send. So if you've been looking for a very simple life management, task management tool, Smart Task is for you. There is a free version which allows limited kind of capabilities. You'll be able to add as many tasks as you want, but you won't get as many custom colors or categories. But if you're just starting, I think the free app is a great version. I personally have the paid version and I believe it's like $2.99 a month or um, $11.99 for the year for your first month and then $17.99 a year after that. But I've been using this app for over two years and I have tried every single type of planner and organization system and this one has worked the best, especially because I tend to get very distracted and overwhelmed. So this one is the most simple and easy to use. I highly recommend it. And again, if you wanna learn more about how I plan out my week specifically, you can watch my weekly plan with me videos. There will be a new one each and every single week and I'll link it up above. Now the third app that I use to stay organized and productive is Google Calendar. Now, there are a ton of calendar apps out there. There's calendars that are built inside your phone and I've used them as well, but Google Calendar has been the one that is most consistent for me. I love the interface and it also integrates well with business in my personal life. So with my personal life and my life overall, I have this rule that if it's not on my calendar, it's not getting done. If I'm meeting up with friends, it's going on my calendar. If I have places that I need to be, it's going on my calendar. Every type of event possible, my friends and my family know that you need to send me a calendar invite because this is the way that I'm using it. 
in my coaching business, my calendars are linked. So Google Calendar allows you to have multiple different calendars. So I have a personal email, a business email, and I can divide all of my events up on the same calendar using Google Calendar. It also has custom colors, so aesthetic is very important over here. I recently just changed the entire color theme just to kind of make it more fun to use. So that's something that has worked really well for me. Another thing about Google Calendar is not only does it manage your events, but you can also add tasks in there. Now I know I mentioned the Smart Task app, but if you're the type of person that wants everything included, you can go ahead and add your tasks in on the Google Calendar app and it will show you reminders and all things like that. Just like all the rest of the apps I mentioned, it does have convenient widgets. So I organize every single thing on my home screen because I see it every day. And the Google Calendar has different widgets that will show you not only your month at a glance, but also your events that are coming up for the next day. And any type of little widget that you can think of, it gives you a great preview. I love it. I use it every single time and I'm always convincing people to switch. And another thing is if you have a Google email, all of your events that are emailed to you will automatically pop up on your calendar and you can mix and match from there. It just gives you a ton of control and you will never miss or forget an event ever again. So go ahead and download the Google Calendar app. Now the last app that I use to stay productive and organized is the Toggle app. Okay, the Toggle app is a time tracking app. Now it has a lot of robust features, but I use it in the most simplest way. In order for you to start managing your time more effectively, you have to take inventory of where you're already spending your time. So as a person who runs a business, who has personal things, I run a nonprofit, I have a lot of different areas that I need to be using my time effectively. And so every time I start a task, I use the toggle app. I use the widget that's on my home screen just to start the timer, and I will actually track how long it takes me to do each task. If you've watched my weekly plan with me videos, you know that while I'm emptying out all the different tasks and things that I have to do, I'm also setting an estimated time of how long that's going to take me. And I'm basing that off of the information and the analytics available in the Toggle app. Another way that you can use the Toggle app is it has a built-in Pomodoro timer. So the Pomodoro method breaks down um, your working hours into 25-minute intervals. You get a five-minute break, and I believe you get three of those 25-minute sessions, and then you take a longer break. So sometimes if I find myself getting very distracted or I've been caught in scrolling paralysis or something like that, um, and I need to just get some momentum working on a test, I'll use the Pomodoro method and that helps me to just kind of stay on focus. And even using this method, it will still um, collect everything inside of the analytics report so you can see how long you're spending on what. And it puts everything in a nice cute little chart. The breakdown is super simple and I highly recommend it. So those are just some of the apps that I use to stay productive and organized. If you're looking to be in your productivity era or you're really trying to take control of your life, I highly recommend checking out these apps. I'll leave all the information in the links below in the description box and you can just go ahead and get started. So I hope that this was helpful. Let me know in the comments which app you're gonna try and I'll talk to you on the next video.